The Atlantic sturgeon, or Ossipenser oxyrhynchus, is in class Actinopterygii, which is the ray fin fishes. It is also in order Ossipenseriformes, which consists of sturgeon and paddlefish, and family Ossipenseridae. The Atlantic sturgeon was first described in 1815 by Samuel Mitchell, who was an American physician, naturalist, and politician. Atlantic sturgeon are anadromous, which means they spend the majority of their lives in the ocean, then travel upstream in rivers to spawn. Their range extends primarily from the Hamilton River in Newfoundland, Canada, to Florida. However, immature sturgeon have been recorded traveling up and down the east coast and as far as Iceland. Research on tag sturgeon have shown that they can travel distances up to 900 miles. A key characteristic of Atlantic sturgeon are their ganoid scales. They have five rows of scutes that run along the length of its body. It also has four barbels around its mouth. These barbels serve as a sensory organ that assists the sturgeon with finding food in muddy water and with taste. Atlantic sturgeon are generally a bluish black color with paler sides and are white on their ventral side. They have a terminal mouth which is helpful for benthic feeding. Sturgeon are well known for their ability to grow very large. They have been recorded to grow as large as 14 feet and 800 pounds. Their large size is associated with a long lifespan with the oldest recorded sturgeon reaching 60 years. Today, however, most sturgeon do not exceed 8 feet. Atlantic sturgeon can occur in small groups or by themselves. Adults ready to spawn will make long migrations up and down the east coast. Male sturgeons spawn every one to five years, while females spawn every three to five years. Spawning occurs between March and August. Eggs are fertilized externally in deep fresh water over bedrock, boulders, or gravel bottoms. 400,000 to 8 million eggs may be spawned per female. Eggs take about a week to hatch. Juveniles will remain in fresh or brackish water for 2 to 5 years before migrating to the ocean. The Atlantic sturgeon population has greatly declined due to habitat loss and overharvesting, Much of the strain on their population is due to their high quality caviar. All five of the U.S. Atlantic sturgeon populations are endangered or threatened. Their primary threats are entanglement fishing gear, habitat degradation, vessel strikes, unintended catch, and habitat impediments such as dams and other barriers that block access to breeding grounds. Atlantic sturgeon are now found in only 22 of the 38 historical spawning rivers. Even though it faces many challenges before it can get back to its former population size, there is a lot being done to reduce the strain on sturgeon population. For example, there is research using aquaculture as a way to farm sturgeon caviar. This type of research could reduce the intensity of the Atlantic sturgeon fishery on wild populations. With time and proper management, the Atlantic sturgeon population could have a brighter outlook.